today is a great day because not only am I in NHR in Phoenix, but today is the day that I also pick up my 68 Camaro. By the time you guys see this video, you would have already seen the video that delivered my Camaro, which I'm so excited because what's better than NHR and getting another classic? I just finished watching Top Fuel, even though they're still going, but I want to walk around here a little bit just because I'm like on a timetable today. I'm waiting for the driver to give me updates. And he's like, I'm almost there. I'm this time. So I'm like, oh my God, I want to stay here watching Top Fuel. But then this vlog would just turn into a Top Fuel vlog. Check this out. I don't know if this is like a, I don't know, half Top Fuel because it looks a lot smaller than this, than the actual Top Fuel. But this is a jet engine. How freaking cool is that? And this is the funniest thing. You can see it's like pretty empty here because everyone is in the stands watching the Top Fuel. And I think after Top Fuel, it's funny cars. Before that, it was pro stock. And that is like what everyone wants to see. That is the whole point of coming to NHRA, just staying there when everything happens so you don't miss the action. But I definitely wanted to come walk around here and see what it looks because I haven't been here since I think 2019. And here are all the funny cars. It's kind of like being delayed today because I thought I was going to miss the top fuel, but I came just in time. So these are all in line here. I think the top fuel are already done. So I'm hoping that I can go see them here in the pit stop and then see them either like remaking the engine. Yeah, you know what? They are probably going to rebuild the engine because they, they have to go one more time today. So that is like one of the best parts here watching them go on the drag strip and also seeing them rebuild the engine. This is what I mean by it's empty. Everyone is probably trying to get out of the stands right now, rushing here to see all the top fuel. <laughs> but it's the best time to walk here, it's not crowded. It's been five years since I was here in the NHRA in Phoenix and I think it's 2020, 2021. One of those, I was in the four lane in Vegas. But since it's been a long time here, I totally forgot to bring uh, any protection for my ears, so that was insane hearing them. I was like, oh my God, my virgin ears. After driving from Arizona to California and then California back with that trailer, I have no idea how they do this. This is insane. These are super long and honestly, that wasn't like the best experience. Maybe because it was my first time and it was so long and wide. Oh my God, this takes <laughs> like a lot. This has to be as long as a semi, I think. I don't know, it looks that long. Huh, no way, especially getting diesel. No, thank you. Well, I guess it sucks that they have the engine facing the other way, but right now it's pretty empty. I guess people are just waiting for them to turn it on again. But man, I really wanted to get closer to the action. And it seems that they have all of those top fuel faced the same way. It's just the opposite with the engine towards the inside. So I guess people can't come and see it from the outside. I don't know why. Last time when I was in 2019, I think in Vegas too, they did it the opposite. So everyone's there waiting, waiting for it to be turned on and like almost dying with all the nitro meth. But that's the fun part. I, don't, I wonder why they're not doing that now. Look at that red one. Oh my God, it's moving. It's a shell of a 69 Camaro. Oh, even though mine is not a 69. That shit, oh, <laughs> that looks nice. Makes me want to maybe possibly stew a build like that in the future. Who knows? First, I need to learn how to just restore these plastics first. So baby steps. I am so glad they decided to leave NHRA here in Phoenix, but because I know at some point, I don't know why they wanted to remove it. I don't understand why, but I'm just so glad because it's right here and I can come every single year. I wish that I can take my engine apart that fast or at least have a team that can get me there. This is exactly what I mean. Now it's getting full because now all of the top fuel dragsters are out and everyone's just by each one just waiting for them to rebuild the engine. But look at this, the amount of people. So that's the difference between them being already on the drag strip and then being out here. I feel like this Camaro of mine is meant to be because as I was leaving, I saw a whole bunch of these big block crate engines. I'm like, hmm interesting because i still don't know exactly what i plan to do to the camaro so i'm like is there more information so they gave me this booklet even though i saw that they had it there so you know i have things to reference now 
Unfortunately, I need to cut this video short because I have to go pick up my Camaro. The driver informed me that he's almost there. So I guess it's not that unfortunate because now I get to finally see my baby in person. The Mustang has his, I don't know, what would we call this? Like a cousin, like a rival brother or sister. I don't know, but let's let them figure it out. <laughs> I'm so excited guys. But like I said, again, by the time you guys see this NHRA video, you guys would have seen my Camaro delivery. So see you guys on the next one.